Hi students, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at ordered pairs. And specifically, we're going to be deriving, we're going to be defining, sorry, the term ordered pair. And we're going to derive ordered pairs from mapping diagrams, all right? All right, now you must be wondering, what is Miss Hamilton talking about when she talks about ordered pairs? All right, let's do a quick breakdown of the term ordered pairs. All right, to order. We know what to order means in terms of um, mass and numbers. We're going to arrange things in a particular sequence or pattern to order. We're arranging items in a particular sequence or pattern. So you're supposed to remember ascending order, descending order. We were arranging them in a particular sequence. We know what pair means, right? <laughs> and I'm not talking about P-E-A-R, I'm talking about P-A-I-R. Pair means two items, all right? So that means if we put these two words together, we'll get ordered pairs. So what do you think ordered pair means? Right, ordered pair, with two numbers written in a specific order. And that's all I mean by ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are two numbers written in a specific order. No, an ordered pair is just another way to represent mapping. No, if it is that you have not watched that first video that I created on mapping diagrams, I will link it above. So I will suggest that you go ahead and watch that video before proceeding with this one, all right? So again, ordered pairs is another way used to represent mapping. And when you say mapping, another word for mapping is matching. All right. Also in that video that I linked above are definitions of the terms the domain and the range. Now, if it is that these words are unfamiliar to you, you're seeing them for the first time, I really do suggest that you go ahead and watch the video. All right. So... The ordered pair shows the domain value that's mapped to the range value. Or it shows the input value matched to the output value. Another way I can think of it, it shows the X value mapped to the Y value. It means the same thing. All right? So we're just matching the values in the domain with the values in the range. That's all we're doing. <clears throat> How do we do this? All right. To do this, we're going to look in the domain and we're going to look for the, the X value that matches up with the Y value. So we're going to follow our arrows. We're going to look on the, each element in the, the domain and follow the arrow to see which element in the range it matches up to. And we're going to write down those two numbers, put them in brackets, and we're going to separate those two numbers by a comma. So again, we're going to look on all the elements in the domain, follow the arrow to see which element in the range it matches up with. Write down those two numbers in brackets, and separate them by a comma. Here's an example. We have a mapping diagram here. What are the elements in the domain? Let's read them together. A, B, D, and G. So there are four elements in the domain or four values. What are the elements in the range? One, two, 
3, and 9. So there are four values in the range. Now we're going to follow our arrows for each of these elements and to see what element they're matched to. So we're going to look on the elements in the domain and see what they are matched to in the range. All right, let's follow the arrow. The A, the arrow coming from the A is matched up to the 2. So how would we write the ordered pair for that one? Good. We write, remember, ordered pair. We have to write them in the right order. So we write our domain value first, which is the A. And then we write our range value second, which is the 2. So we write A, comma, 2. Let's do another example. Let's do the other one, I should say. The other element. The B, let's follow the arrow and see what element the B is matched up to. Two, very good. So the second ordered pair is B comma two. We always write the element in the domain first and then we write the element in the range. So in other words, we write the element that is on the left first and then we write the other one that's on the right second. Left to right, just when you're writing, we move from left to right. Good. The third element. Let's look on the arrow. The D, the arrow is pointing to 1. So the third ordered pair is D, 1. And the final ordered pair is, this one is very easy. The G is matched up to the 9. Good. Good job. All right. Now, you are going to try some on your own. I want you to try these examples. Oh, before you try those examples, one thing I forgot to point out. When you're writing ordered pairs, students, we put them in curly brackets as well. So this is how we usually write it. We put all the ordered pairs that we found together and put them in what I call a curly bracket because they look curly curly. <laughs> we put it in a curly bracket so it lists all the ordered pairs. And this we separate them by a comma here. So that's how we write them out. All right? Now for the examples. All right. So here we have a function. We have a mapping diagram that shows a function. And I suggest that you go ahead and watch that video again on functions and mapping diagrams and how we determine if a function, if a mapping diagram is a function or not. All right, students. Good. All right. Let's see if we can find the ordered pairs. Remember, we're going to select all the elements in the domain and see what they're matched up to in the range. Pause the video and have a go. All right, good. Did you get this as your answer? If you did, well done. All right, so we have three and it's matched up with the nine. So we have three comma nine. We have the four matched up with the 16. So we have four comma 16. 5 match to 25, 3 match to 36, and 7 what 49. It's not hard, right? Let's do another example. Try this one on your own. Please pause the video, have a go, and then return. All right, let's go. Very good. It's 1, 3. The 1 is matched to the 3. The 2 is matched to the 3. The 3 is mapped to the 7, the 4 is mapped to the 8. One final example, students, and then we are finished with this lesson. All right. Let's find the ordered pairs. Pause the video, have a go, and then come back. All right. Did you have this as your answer? If you did, well done. All right, the one is mapped to the five, the one is mapped to a six, two is mapped to a seven, three is mapped to a seven, four mapped to an eight. Remember guys, 
Just a reminder, it's not a function because only one arrow should be moving from the domain. Just putting that here. All right. We've come to the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. And I see you next time.